So I bought this, uh, in, two free months of MSN 8. I completely forgot the reason I bought this. Um, uh, yeah, it's literally just MSN 8. Two free months of it. Yeah, uh, I think I, I bought this because it was like 10 bucks, and I'm starting to try and collect, uh, out, outdated stuff. And I thought, why not? I actually grew up with MSN8. I grew up with a Windows XP computer. I also remember Windows Vista. I don't remember too much of that. Yeah, I've, I've went through several computers. Uh, there was Windows XP, which my grandma had, and pretty much the entire family. And then there was Windows 7, which is, I th think, what my dad had. Or, I don't know, Windows Vista upgraded to 7. And then Windows 8, which is what I had. And then Windows 10, which is what I have now. Um... But yeah, this is MSN 8. Um, so we're just gonna, we're gonna try it out. So. Yep. By the way, I've had, I had to clean this disc. Because the back was incredibly dusty. You see, it's not dusty right now, but it was. It was incredibly dusty. For no reason. It was the back. The front wasn't dusty whatsoever. It was the back. And I find that really funny. But yeah, let's, let's try out MSN8. Uh, I'm going to switch over to my Windows XP, but this is just so I can show you what it looks like going in, even though you can barely see it. But yeah. There we go. It also did come with another thing, uh, which is just a piece of paper. That doesn't say anything important, but yeah, it's just a piece of paper. It's funny. But yeah. All right, let's try out MSN8. Let's review MSN8 for Windows XP. Shut up, I'm getting to you. Alright, so we got the Windows XP booted up. Uh, let's see if. Yep, there it is. Let's set up MSN. Install MSN 8. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's take the MSN 8 tour, shall we? Okay. Let's get the extra software first before we install the main. Take the Windows XP. T ah. Both these are pretty bad. Let's do this one first. Well. That was funny. Let's install MSN8, shall we? Anyway. Let's install the missing eight. I'm sorry. Would you like for us to place that missing butterfly on the start menu so you can create? Now that we've installed it, now let's. Okay, so it's switched my internet browser to MSN and my email to MSN. Yeah, MSN 8's down there. Why have you not. There we go. Yeah, so we have MSN 8 on the desktop right here. Also, have a Windows folder on my desktop. I don't I don't need that. Explore the web, read your email, talk to online contacts, enjoy online music and video and more. 
Let's try, shall we? Whoever made this computer is an idiot because they put the fan on the bottom of the computer. Yeah, that's a, yeah, they put the fan on the bottom of the computer so it overheats. All right, so we can either I'm I'm new, I've already signed up or I want to take the tour. Well, I think I already took the tour and it was boring, so I'm going to say that I, I'm new. We're sorry, we cannot reach MSN service to sign you up for MSN 8. No. No. No! I can't use MSN 8! MSN 8? No! So MSN 8 don't work. Currently, no one signed up to MSN 8 on this computer. Let's do guest sign-in. Type your email address. Well, I am doing a guest sign-in. So... This account is not supported. Alright. Let's try to sign up again. We could always try again. No. Emerson seems to be uh, shut down. Well, let's take the tour, shall we? Here's the tour. You see, it looks cool. Okay. Alright. So sadly, I can't use MSN. Can we at least open up MSN Messenger? Okay, we can look at MSN. Let's, um,. So you can go into the MSN files. Now there's also the MSN gaming zone. The gaming zone. Uh, let's play back game and I don't know how to play this let's actually play a game that I know how to play the game server has not responded it may be temporarily unavailable it's net meeting so I tried to use MSN 8 it's it obviously isn't working because you know it's sort of shut down but it's nice keeping this on like computer it has a little memory <laughs> 